My name is I am Cadet. It's going to attention. I am Cadet Command Sergeant Major Ian Malvo. I will be let for I'm upcoming to my senior year and I attend Hightower High School. Today I do not have a slide, so I will be discussing it from my notepad. Today I was with Delta Company. I was with Delta Company and we had a few that called, we had two sick calls. One was due to a heat casualty and she is now okay. And we had one with a personal issue and she's now okay also. This morning I missed Alpha. I missed Alpha's room inspections because I was late. That is my fault. But I did make it to Bravo, Charlie, and Delta, and their issues are similar. Charlie, Charlie's rooms were their beds, most of their beds were made, and some of them did not have their JCLC shirts and their shoes were not aligned with their backs. Their countertops, their countertops were clean, but their sinks were dirty with hair. And also with Bravo, I said Charlie before Bravo. With Bravo, it's similar, but their shoes were aligned, but they were facing the same direction instead of facing each other. That is one thing that the platoon sergeant, well, the first sergeant should be telling the company commander and having a little meeting with their platoon leaders and sergeants. With Delta, the shower floors are dirty. Everybody's shower floors are dirty. I did mention that they can splash the water on the walls. I've mentioned that to the first sergeant, all first sergeants of each company. Their beds were made, their pillows, were aligned, but their shoes were not aligned under their pillows. They did not have sheets under their pillows, and if they had a, a nightstand covering in front of their shoes, they could have moved their pillows to the end, which I mentioned to the first sergeant, and they could have aligned everything else back, also with their, room, with their roommate. Their towels, one roommate would have their towel on the top one, and their second room, we have one on the bottom, but they need to be together. They need to talk to each other if they want. If they want their towels on the top, put your towels on the top. If you have two towels on the top, put two towels on the top. If you have two towels on the bottom, put two towels at the bottom. If you have one towel at the bottom, put one towel at the bottom. One thing I did see with uniforms for Delta, which I was with all day, is some females' buns, they were correct, but most of them weren't, but they were a quick fix. Ugh, quick fix. I missed it to the first sergeant, and by the way, one of the first sergeants of Delta had to get switched out to a, a new first sergeant because she had personal issues during the day. I, okay. And the first sergeant did have a little attitude and I acknowledged her on it. And I told her we need, that's why we have communication and it's called teamwork. We shouldn't be mad at each other. And she acknowledged it and then she cried and I said, it's okay. Don't need to apologize. During the day with Delta, they were motivated. So was other companies during morning formation. We had issues with cadets having attitudes with their platoon leaders and sergeants. I did not like that at all. And I, I talked to the first sergeant, I was like, you need to get with your company commander and make sure that your platoon leaders and sergeants know that the cadets should not be talking to them if not asked or spoken to at, at ease or attention or calling at rest. While Delta Company was at the museum, they were respectful to their tour guide and when, they, when the tour guide asked for them to respond, well, they didn't ask for them to respond, but when it was time for them to respond, they were loud and yes, sir. Some cadets were sleeping during the tour guide and I realized 
that some of them were complaining because they didn't get enough rest. And why they didn't get enough rest is because they weren't on formation on time. Because they're lacking. During a serious talk, when it comes to motivation with Delta, they don't only get it from their cadets, they get it from their tax. And their tax, they respect their tax, most of them, which I hope. I had a few goods. Our goods were the morning formation. Everybody was motivated. They were loud. Yeah, we had some little beef. It was good. It was funny. Ha ha. All companies, all companies. <laughs> All companies' communication skills, from what I realized during morning formation, were intact. Their first sergeants were talking to their company commanders when needed to. The battalion's motivation today was excellent. Our communication was awesome. I loved it. I had a few downs. I had a few bats. Some, some bats. Hey man, you good man. We don't know whether you're yeah. serious or you're really Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> you're doing good. Keep going, Sarmin. While I was with Delta Company, I did not hear a lot of water commands. I only heard it like three or four times, even after mentioning to the first sergeant. One thing, another down is, some cadets didn't know that they needed an extra bag so they got points deducted from them during inspections. And some of them didn't even have a personal hygiene bag. And they said, well, they didn't say it, but they put their toothbrush and toothpaste on the bed and called it a hygiene bag. <coughs> another thing is attitudes. The cadets have attitudes with their platoon leaders or sergeants, and I don't like it at all. And I addressed it with first sergeants, some changed and some didn't. This concludes my part of the presentation. I will be now followed by the battalion commander. One sec. Hey, if you have one thing that you would like to pass on or you know, another thing you would like to improve, what would that be? Something I would like to pass on is communications. That's the only, one of the only ways we'll actually get through this camp. If you can't communicate with one another, you're not going to move on. Any more questions? No, that's thank you, Matt. So this is the end of our presentation, and we would like to say thank y'all for choosing us to be your battalion staff for this day.